All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about two tools within Adobe Illustrator that are gonna help you with the alignment and organization and layout within your designs. To get started, let's take a look at guides within Adobe Illustrator. So when you first open your workspace, the edges of it will probably look like this. They'll be blank here. Um, but if you just go ahead and hit Command R on your keyboard, that will bring up these rulers along the edges. Now that we have these rulers pulled up, we can go ahead and click and drag on them to bring out guides. So you can do that from the top or the side to bring out horizontal and vertical guides. Um, and these are guides that you can go ahead and snap things to. So if I were just to make a square here, you'll see that my cursor will snap on that intersection. You can bring out a square, um, et cetera. Um, if I were to move this around, I could size it and it would snap to that. Um, so it's going to snap. These guides are going to snap just like any other object would in Illustrator. Now along the top here on the ruler, you'll notice that we've got some units. So right now this is in inches. But if we go ahead and right click it, we can change that to any other unit of measurement. Uh, pixels, points, picas, inches, etc. Um, so depending on what kind of project you're working on in the application, you can change that to fit your needs. Also, when you're dragging these rulers out, we can hold the shift key and it will snap to those rulers. So right now you can see it's snapping to every eighth inch. Um, that can be quite helpful. Usually what I use guides for most often is um, for creating layouts. So let's say I'm creating a design with one inch bleeds. I can just go ahead and bring some squares out, or sorry, some uh, guides out. So that then when I'm creating, um, I've got those guides there and I know what my actual design space is. Now, if you are using guides in this sort of application to show your layout um, or to show something like bleeds, you're probably not want, gonna want to accidentally be selecting them while you're designing and moving them around. So what you can go ahead and do is just hit uh, Command Alt semicolon on your keyboard. And what that will do is lock those guides in place. Um, and then doing that same key command again, will go ahead and unlock them. Um, also, once they're either locked or unlocked, you can just hit command semicolon on your keyboard to hide them temporarily, and then command semicolon will toggle them back on. So this is really helpful when you're proofing your design and you wanna see it without all of your guides. Moving on to the align feature. The align feature is super helpful, and once you get a good grasp of it, it uh, really makes centering up your designs and aligning objects really quick and easy. So the align panel will be found down here. It is a vertical line with two uh, rectangles coming off of it. If you don't see it, you can go to window and then align. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this panel out so that it's easier to access. So now that we have the align panel up, let's go ahead and look at probably its most basic feature, which is centering things. I'm just gonna be using squares in this video to represent design elements, but of course you can do this with any object or text within Illustrator. So I've got this square, if I want it to be centered on my document, I can go ahead and go to align objects and I'll align it to the center horizontally and vertically. And now I've got a perfectly centered square here in my workspace. Now an important distinction to make when you're using the align panel is that you can either align to selection, key object, or artboard. Today we're not gonna go over align to key object because this is just gonna be a pretty basic overview of the align panel to get you started uh, with some of the things you'll use more day to day. Um, but there are a lot more complex things you can go into using the key object when you're looking at distributing and things like that. So just be aware that it's there. You could learn more about it. To start off, let's look at align to artboard. So when you're aligning to artboard, um, that's gonna be aligning things in relation to this outside edge of your artboard. So for example, when we just aligned to the center, when we did a horizontal align center, um, it's aligning on this horizontal axis in relation to these outside edges of our artboard, and then the same for the vertical align center. But we could also go to horizontal align left or right or vertical align top or bottom to snap it to those edges of the artboard. Now let's say we've got multiple objects. We can do the same thing. So if I just were to make a couple of duplicates here, I can go ahead and select all of these I can align them to the top or the bottom or to the center. Um, I can also go ahead and align them to the left. But what you'll see that does um, when you're aligning things that are on the shared axis, so they're already on this horizontal axis, um, it's gonna align all of them over here. So it's you can see it's burying them underneath the same shape. Um, so what you'll wanna do instead is just go ahead and group them first. So go to Command G and then align over there. 
or align center. I'll just do command shift G to ungroup those. The next thing we'll look at is distributing. So when you're working within a line to artboard, you can go ahead and distribute again in relation to the edges of the artboard. So let's say that I've got um, these shapes and I want one to be in the center and the others to be on these two edges. I could go ahead and do horizontal distribute center. And what that's going to do is evenly distribute these across the full width of the artboard. I could do the same on the vertical axis and what that will do is um, perfectly distribute these within relation uh, to the top and bottom of the artboard. Then what I could do is go ahead and center these and now they'll be centered um, but perfectly aligned from top to bottom or distributed rather. So now let's go ahead and look at what we can do when we're aligning to selection. So if I were to go ahead and just duplicate these out like so. So let's say I've got these three design elements in my workspace and maybe they're a little bit skewed, maybe it's some text or whatever it might be. And let's say I want this to be perfectly um, not only centered with these two, maybe these are even smaller, right? And so I want these to be on the same center line as the center one here. And I also want them to be evenly spaced. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and make sure that a line to selection is on. And then when I do a line, uh, vertical align center, it's going to be um, aligning just based on this selection. So the artboard is no longer being uh, taken into consideration for this. Um, so for example, if I had these down here, um, as you can see, they're just aligning to this selection. They're not centering themselves on the artboard. Um, and then same with distributing. So now when I go to horizontal distribute center, that's just going to distribute it um, within these three objects instead of using the edges of the artboard like it would have before. And then what I could do is I could group these and align the artboard, turn that back on, and then I could just go ahead and center them once they're aligned within each other. So that's a quick overview of how to use guides and the align feature within Adobe Illustrator. There's definitely a lot more you can do with these features, uh, but this is just a quick overview to get you started. Play around with it and try to get used to it because it's something that can really speed up your workflow within the program. Hope this video was helpful, guys. We'll be back soon with some more.